Okay, so first thing I did was measure from left to right, side to side, using measuring tape, and I did the same thing using top and bottom using measuring tape, and then I used the DVD to make like little squares, and those X's, those are, that's like where I'm going to place my um, buttons. After that, you decided where you want to place your buttons. You want to take a drill, and you're just going to drill your holes. It took me a minute to get used to this uh, little guy, but I got the hang of it real quick. Don't give up. Keep going. Then, after that, I went on ahead and sprayed the glue that I got from Walmart. This is just a spray glue. This is just going to keep the foam down that you're going to be placing on top next. And make sure you put a good bit of it because you really want it to stay and last long. After that, I'm going to lay down my foam. And you can just do one foam or, you know, they do come in different sizes. I couldn't find the right size, so I had to buy two separate pieces. But this made it, uh, I think it was like two inches. I want it really nice and soft. After this, I'm going to put on the batting, which this is what I'm laying on top of it now. Make sure your batting is nice and smooth because you don't want any wrinkles like you see right here, what I'm showing you. So what I did was just took my little steamer and I just steamed a little bit of the wrinkles out. Do not put the steamer too close to it. You're just trying to get a little bit of the wrinkles out, not all of it, because it'll stop puffing up on you. So be really gentle. After that, you're going to go ahead and fold over your batting to see where you want to place it before you staple it. That's what I'm doing here. You just want to make sure you map out what you want to do before you actually do it. And after that you can just go ahead and just staple going straight across from left to right. And I did like the up and down motion where it's like shaped like a triangle as I stapled. You don't want to just put staples anywhere. And make sure you really get your corners nice and snug. Okay, so when you starting to do the tough thing and you already figured out where you want to put your buttons, um, you want to make sure you start in like the middle. Do not start at the top and do not start at the bottom. Make sure you start in the middle. And you have somebody to help you. I had my husband to help me out. <laughs> He's at the bottom. He's going to be pushing through the screw in the bottom. And I'm just going to pull away the inner piece of the foam. And this is the tricky part, just trying to figure out where the hole is. You want to take your needle and gently press through your fabric. You don't want to ruin your fabric. And once you figure where that hole is, everything should go through smoothly. After this, everything went pretty fast. And then on the bottom, he's going to be doing the stapling. You can either do it that way for the first part or you can flip your um, board over and then you can like what I'm showing right here is how it looks on the bottom once you get all of your buttons in. You're just going to pull it really tight but not too tight because you want to pop your button. But I have really strong thread and you're going to just um, staple it to the board. And you'll start seeing your tough thing starting to create itself. I really enjoyed doing this project and I'm going to be showing on another tutorial on how I did my DIY nightstand so stay tuned and stay on the lookout for that one also. After that you just continue to do the same step over and over until you you know exceeded all of the buttons and all your liking where you want to put them at. And of course, I was a little bit greedy. I put it so many buttons because I love shiny things. So let's just say I love sparkly things. <laughs> but it was well worth it. Oh yeah, and I love the tip. Go ahead and string your buttons along. 
so that way when it's time to do it you can just move along quickly after that I'm just gonna cut off the rest of the batting that I had left over and I'm gonna fold over my ends of my fabric and staple it down and I'm gonna do the top and the bottom of my fabric after that that should be it you can either place a piece of plastic over this and screw it on or you can place another piece of fabric on the back it's up to you I'm gonna do mine a little later but this is how it came out I really loved it it was a fun project for me and him to complete um, if you have any questions just comment down below and thank you for watching as always